What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in this video I wanted to talk about how to create and save model collections in the 3D warehouse. So today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course that I created. It's basically the equivalent of a two-day in-person training. So in that course, we cover everything from the basics of SketchUp all the way through more advanced modeling topics like modeling for interior design, modeling for layout, and uh, an introduction to photorealistic rendering. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to kind of up your proficiency with SketchUp, uh, you want to learn how to use the program, make sure you check that out at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So one of the things that makes SketchUp such a powerful software is the ability to download ready-made 3D models from the 3D warehouse for free. So you can download anything from cars to furniture to models of people, basically anything that you want for your models. And as you spend more time modeling and more time in the 3D warehouse, you're going to start developing a list of models that you consistently use. So to access the 3D warehouse, you just go up to File, 3D Warehouse, get models, that's going to open up your 3D warehouse window. And so that's going to allow you to access all of the different models within the 3D warehouse. And so within the 3D warehouse, you can actually save the different models so that you can access them quickly later. So in order to do that, with the new version of the 3D warehouse, you're going to go up to your profile picture up here and mouse over it, and then click on My Models or My Collections. And what that's going to do is that's going to pop up a page that shows both models that you've uploaded, as well as collections and models that and collections that you've liked within the 3D warehouse. And so like for example, I end up using 2D trees from the SketchUp 2D tree collection a lot. So it's easier for me to save the location of those 3D warehouse models instead of doing a search and trying to find those over and over again. And so you'll notice there's tabs in here for models, which are models that you've uploaded. There's collections, liked models, and liked collections. And so probably the easiest way to save a model is just to like it. So let's say for example, that we went in here and we search SketchUp 2D tree. And let's say for example, that I really like this schematic juniper tree model. So let's say I wanted to save this in order to use it later. So right now what I could do in order to be able to access that quickly is instead of having to search for 2D schematic juniper tree, I can just click this little heart button to like it. And so when I like this model, what this is gonna do is it's gonna add it to your list of models that you've liked. So now, if you go up to my models, and you click on liked models, and this may take a second to load after you've liked it. So if I click back and forward, sometimes it shows up, but you'll see how basically now I can go into my liked models and I can find that juniper tree model really quickly without having to do a search for it. And so in addition to being able to do that with the models themselves, you can also do that with collections. So collections are groups of models within the 3D warehouse. And let's say for example, this is the SketchUp collections page. So this is a list of all the models that have been uploaded by SketchUp. And in this case, let's say that I really like this trees 2D collection. I can just click on it. And in the upper right hand corner, you can find the heart button again. You can see how this looks a little bit different than the individual model page. But if I click on the heart button, what that's going to do is that's going to like this. And then I'm going to be able to access this collection really quickly. And so this kind of goes back and forth between the new and old format. Um, within the 3D warehouse. So this is the older format and you can just click on the little drop down next to your name and click on my 3D warehouse to access the same page. But in this case, if I go to the liked collections page, you'll notice that that 2D trees is now in here. So now I can click on that and I can open up that collection really quickly. And so if you're trying to just be able to access an individual model or an individual collection in the future, liking works just fine. But sometimes what you want to do is you actually want to organize things in a certain way and you want to be able to add both collections and models to your organized groups. And so what we're going to do in this case is we're going to create a collection. And so a collection is a group of things within the 3D warehouse 
that you've saved for access later. So in this case, I'm going to go in my trees and vegetation collection that I've created. And you can create a collection by just clicking this plus button. And you just go in here and name it. And you can either set to, that to public or private. So if you don't want people to see your collection, you can set it to private. Um, you can add a thumbnail. You can adjust some other things in here as well. But then once that's created, this is what your collections are going to look like. So in this case, my trees and vegetation collection has three collections from SketchUp in it and also one individual model. And so in order to add things to this, all you have to do is we'll go back and we'll do SketchUp We'll do a search for the SketchUp 2D trees again. I'm actually going to track down the 2D trees collection group. But in this case, I'm going to click on this and I want to add this trees 2D collection to my collection. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this button for add to collection. What this is going to do is this is going to ask me which collection I want to add this to. So you can either create your own collection or you can select an existing one. So in this case, I'm going to click on trees and vegetation. So when I click on trees and vegetation, then I go back to my 3D warehouse and I look in my collections under trees and vegetation. And again, sometimes you have to do kind of a back and forward in order for this to show up. But you can see how now that trees 2D collection shows up in here. So you can save both individual models as well as collections. So in this case, let's say that I wanted to add this 2D schematic walnut tree model to a collection. You can see how this looks a little bit different, but you would just go down and find the plus for add to collection, and you could add that to your trees and vegetation collection. And so we'll just go back and forward. And so you can see how now that shows up in my model section of my trees and vegetation collection. And so in this way, you can create kind of a library of things that you use quickly and just bring them into your SketchUp model really fast. So that's where I'm going to end today's video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Are you using collections in the 3D warehouse? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.